Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last week there was an update to Transport Fever 2, the last major update, or I think perhaps the last update, full stop for this particular title. Those chickens, I need to remember to get rid of those chickens, but uh, I keep forgetting to do that. But yes, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by some clucking, the last major updates for Transports Fever 2 landed last week. And in it, amongst a number of other things, came three point switches. And I thought that in this video, instead of me continuing to... I'm going to take a screenshot just there. Instead of me just continuing along on making my good stations, as I've been doing for the past couple of videos, I thought this would be a good time to just have a quick overview of the map, look at all the terminus stations, all the complicated junctions, and see if there is anything I can do to improve the actual approaches, or exits as the case may be, by changing certain points from two-way points to three-way points. So that is the plan for today. Make sure you stay tuned. I have no idea how long this is going to take. If it is indeed just a very quick thing that only takes about 15 minutes, then I shall continue with building the goods yard. But I think it may take just a little bit longer. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's get started and let's see what I can do to improve some of the junctions. Right, so I am going to start up here in, in Bracknell and just take a quick peek at anything that could be, could be improved. Now off the top of, well at a quick glance, I see nothing that could be improved, although I'm just wondering if I were to add a connection to go this way yes actually there is something that can be improved here because if you are coming in on these particular lines so that's line there and that's line there you have no way of is this going to demonstrate it for me yes this one is going to demonstrate there is no way to get across to this particular platform so in order for me to be able to make it so that they can get across to said platforms, I suppose, I mean, I suppose there is this. You could go across here and then there, but I may be able to take that slip off on both sides and just connect it up. So first off, I have to figure out which one this is. Is this the 40 mile per hour? Full head track. It is this one. There we are. So let's see if this is doable. It is, but unfortunately, only at 36 miles per hour due to. Ah, okay. Due to the way that works. Now, I could. I could manage that. Let's have a look at this one. Can this one manage the 40? This one can. So is it worth me having that little, that extra bit? And then effectively not having to have this little slip here. Let's do that. There we go. First three-way junction is is in. In fact, just for completion's sake, I am going to put this one in as well. Even if it is not at full speed. Trains are going to be slowing down for this regardless. Okay. Coming in along here. Is there anything that could be useful for this one 
so nobody needs to go back out across here and then in so that isn't something I need to worry about and nobody needs to come in from there because we've got the connection here which I also need to just clear up uh, is it that? yes it is This, this tunnel really is working. Look at that. Yes, this, this is actually working remarkably, remarkably well. Which is a bit of a surprise, but there, there you have it. Trains to and froing without too much of an issue. Okay, this bit's here. Nothing needs to be done there. This bit is all going to be redone, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, all of that is fine. This bit is only two to two, so that does not matter either. We do have this junction, which really does nothing. This bit does nothing. This bit does nothing. Yep, nothing along here that needs to be done. Coming into Macclesfield. Ah, yes, I did say that I was going to do this. So what speed is this one? I think it was 25 miles per hour. There it is. And now we have the three-way junction. Although... To be completely honest, it should have been from there. There we go. That is better. Oh, why does that do that? I do not want it to do that. Um. All right. Guess the best way for me to fix that is by doing that. And then subsequently deleting this bit. No, it does push that back in. Right. So maybe I'm keeping that little bit for some unknown reason. What, what can I place here? What can I put there that will be helpful? Most likely nothing. Stick a signal in there. That is all working. I do need to add some detailing along here, but nothing, nothing required at present. That all looks okay. Okay, so that is one place where three-way junction has come in handy. This bit, so we have one, two, one, two, but then that just goes to four. How did I end up with five lines here? This is part of the old line, that's what it is. There, that is the old railway. Yes, okay. So nothing needs to be touched there across the viaduct, nothing out of order there. Everything here looks okay, oh hello. Are you actually taking something? You are. Oh yes, the wagons are covered. Because coal apparently needs to be covered. Um, okay. Could this end up being a three-way junction? So you'd have one, two, and three. I do not think this is going to be possible to do such a thing there this bit no so it, it is a little difficult to to figure out where you can and cannot use such a thing what has happened here well all right 
Yes, this is a little difficult to figure out exactly where one can and cannot. Ooh, I could. could do this. If I decide to build another track, another length of track here, just take all of that out. Not necessary, though. That is the thing. It is not necessary. But will it look good? That is the question. We also have these new guidelines for 45 and 90 degree. Uh, or for, sorry, uh, 0 and 45 degrees. I suppose there is a 90 degree one somewhere. Uh, track or road snapping, spline snapping, I suppose is the right, right word for it. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly, how well that's going to work. Oh, it can happen. We can have something that looks a bit like that. It's a little bit difficult, but it can be done. How many people on this train? 50. Not too bad. Uh, are you going to move or not? Surely you should move now. Fast forward, that train leaves. You go straight through there. Right. Perhaps not. Are you going to go through the middle? We'll find out in a moment. Okay. So, how how would this work? We have this connection like so. That does not look like something that can be... This one could be. Just curious. No. I think there is going to be some limitations to this. Yes, that it is. It is clear that there will be some limitations to to the way these are built, but that is understandable. You are never going to get to move. Also, why are you carrying coal on you? Not going to question that. Not going to question that at this moment in time at all. Will this work? Not really. Okay. Limitations abound. Hang on. Hang on. There is something here that would work. This. If I can pull this off. That will save me having to have another set? No, I still have to have the other set. But this will look far better. Because I can do that. I can then do that. I can have quite a significant number of crossovers here. Okay, this is going to be difficult. But that does add a little a little bit to this. Will it will this allow me to do a crossover against a cr Will this allow me to cross crossovers? That is the question. And I suppose I have to aim from the right spot to the right spot. Which no, it is... Hmm. I guess it's also... They all, they all also have to be lined up with each other. So, for example, I assume... Whilst that one works... I say too much curvature. Where... Okay. Whilst that one works, I assume... Yes, this one will not work because it's too, too close. But these two could potentially... 
both work? No, still no. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Can I clean anything up on this side? If I needed that. That goes across there. Nothing else needed there. I think these crossings... So... Can I make that go all the way across? No. I'm trying to think. If, if a train was stuck at... Oh, I suppose they would not be stuck on this side at signals. For example, say a train is stuck here at signal because there is a train in there. Is there a way for me to be able to get a train all the way across? And the answer to that is actually no. No, there isn't. There is no way I can actually do that. Just, just looking at this. Not with this particular layout. Okay, how many on board this train? 24. Still not going so well. Whilst that one has... Probably going to have a full train. Yep, full train, and here comes the, the freight train. Okay, nothing really here to... to look at. Um... Actually... This bit... I could clean this bit up. This bit going across like that and like that. I can very much clean up by... You can see that this area is quite busy. By doing that. That will actually clean that last bit up. Because I see no other use. There is no current use for it. Because I see no other use for it either. Yes, there we go. I found another one. Is it 40? Um, no. Is it 50? Yes. I could just check this, you know, by maybe, I don't know, reading my own speed instructions. Uh, not that one. Oops. It is this one. And there is the 50 mile per hour connection. So if I do that and bring this signal back a touch... There we are. Just a little. That opens up this area, which then means I can delete that. And the speed signs. Now, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but it, it might do something. There we are. So if I do somehow get this line running with more trains, I can actually peel them into all of these platforms very easily now and, and queue them up, which is probably the more important bit. This also means I can reduce that, remove that, and probably these two signs... I need to I need to make some upgrades to those signs. Somebody told me that I need to sort out a, a black texture on the back, and I haven't done it yet. There we go. That looks reasonable. I think. Just check. So from say there how kind of distance do we have problem is, is that is not a large large enough distance for 
for very large trains. That is where the problem is going to come in. But this is all running quite swimmingly. Okay, this I wanted to do something with, but have not yet figured out, so I'm going to leave that. Uh, you're stuck in traffic. This bit. Okay. There was a lot that I wanted to do here. How am I going to pull this one off? At least you have something on you. 49. It's not great, but this is something. Okay. First off, I can make use of this. So we've got this split here. What I can do is this goes into three tracks. I can make this so that it peels off into the center track and splits into three. That will neaten this area up. So I need to pause this in order for me in order for me to be able to do this. I certainly need to pause all of this and check the speeds. This is all 25. There we go. So now what I do is I ensure I have the 25 mile per hour track. Make sure that that is straight. Connect that up like that. So this area effectively is remaining the same. Although I do need to try and make that as perfect as possible. That is probably the closest I'm going to get. And then what I could do is I can do this. And that, yes, and that should neaten up. In theory, that should neaten up this setup. In fact, that does. That looks far neater. Okay. Then what I could do, oh, see, I did these with those numbers because of the whole connection problem, but potentially I could do this. So that goes out there. It's too much curvature though. So maybe it isn't, maybe that isn't possible. Okay. This way, probably the same thing, right? Would have been good if I had managed to pull that off. I'll continue on this. Let that continue at whatever speed these trains want to run at. Aha! This. So I've got this bit here. And I remember having issues of getting trains to certain places. So, a train comes out of this and should, in theory, be able to go across there, in fact, across to wherever it needed to go. And apparently that doesn't... Nope, this is not happy with, with that. That train is shooting off at very high speed. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ah, this junction. See, just opening all of this up gives me more opportunities to route, to route trains in and out, but it may make things unnecessarily complicated, so I need to, I need to be wary of that. This, though, should hopefully not make things unnecessarily complicated because yes this bit this bit definitely needs a rebuild you can see here i had to split this really awkwardly into three 
So, the way I'm going to do this is... I know, I know, I know. There we go. That pushes that all the way back there. And the way to split this into three is going to be... Follow... Oh, which one should I... Okay, will it work if I just do it like this? I doubt it. But I'm going to try. It does. Okay. So that is quite positive. I can actually streamline this entire operation. I've just realized this entire this entire section can be streamlined. So I know it is four tracks. I can streamline this into three and then split the three. So I can have another three tracks going into one and another three tracks going into one. But how do I pull that off? That might be something I need to do a little later. Um, and it, it appears that these, this junction here is not in any use. So I'm going to delete that for now. I may have already fixed whatever issue I needed that to fix. No, I haven't yet. But I will be able to. Because I have one track going into three. Second track going into one, two, three. But the way I can... The way I could do this is have the these two merge and then go into the one, two, three. So, you know, I'm just going to do it just because I think it could be quite interesting. So if I just work out the one, two, three, four, these two middle bits, there we are. Okay. Are you? Yes, that's fine. That is fine. So I want this track to... I want that track to go in there. And at the same time, I want... Not that. That is not what I'm after. I still have no idea why Transport Fever 2 does this. It started after... Not this this patch that has just been released but a previous patch and it started after that there we are that is the second set of three I'm just wondering if I could push these up a little further too and I have to work out how to get this across perhaps two Okay, the way to do that is quite simple. It is a matter of pushing these ones further up. To provide enough room. And thinking about it, it really does not need a massive amount of space. Uh, if you look at where I've put the signals, this is... This is perfectly accept this is a perfectly acceptable amount. Is that connected? It is. Good. There and there, and I will also just ensure that this one is matching. There we are. Okay. And then we have this bit in the middle. Uh, I'm not 
not keen on how this one's... Not keen on how that one works. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad. That was bad. Let me try this one again. Uh, there and... There. No, that is still not, still not how I want it. Perhaps I need to figure out where this one will join. Which looks to be, that looks correct. Uh, almost correct. Is that correct? Actually, no, that is correct. And does that make this one correct too? Is the big question. Yes, there we are. That is what I wanted. Um, now the question is, how do I connect all of these up? So if I wanted to, I can do, I can do this to it. And I can also do that to it. But from here, if I want to do this, I can also do that. Hang on. Come on, brain. Just because just because there is a new tool does not mean that I need to be using it everywhere all the time. Do that. There we go. Do that. Do that. And do that. But then what about trains coming across? This side, simple enough. That side, not a problem. That looks messier than it was when I started. I will come, I will come back to that. I do have an opportunity to fix this bit though. You can see here that I had a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a mare with this bit. So, let's go ahead and fix that. Perfect. This bit stays as, remains as two. Um, do I need to do this? I doubt it. So I'm going to leave that as, as two. Uh, across here, no problems along these lines as far as I, as far as I can tell. There's nothing that I need to do to make that go back across. So this is all all right. No problems there. This one is fine, I guess. Nothing's running through here right now. Might be interesting to have trains being able to queue. Could be interesting to have trains able to queue going this way but also able to potentially queue going that I'll have to see I'll have to see about that one that one is fine uh, this one is did I ever say I had a problem with this because of getting trains into here I could not get them into here without passing through there But I should be able to now, if I do a crossing, so then that crossover there might be unnecessary if I can have a crossing that goes across here, which also comes into that one. So hang on, for this one, from 
from there, if we are going all the way across, say we are going across from that middle platform, I need to be able to go across one, across two. Here I can only go across one. So no, the across two is still necessary. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. This bit can do with... Uh, I need to make that 10 miles per hour. That, that will do. Oh, and also, forgot to finish building this up. Not there. There. Okay. That works. It's useful. I could... I know I was struggling with this before. So I could create something here and then have that connect out ready on the outward approach. Oh, yes, this was a problem. Because I, I had to split this once and then split it again. Yes, this can now definitely be fixed. So how am I going to fix it? It is going to be... By connecting this up, 25 miles per hour. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no, that's fine. That is fine. Because it isn't that bit that I need to worry about. I can actually rejig this entire section. to, let's see, have a third slip out here. There we go. And then use this one to feed into both. Well, I guess I could do, should I do that one first? Because it can feed straight into that and then have a second one feed directly there it it looks a little better it does look a little better I'm concerned as to whether or not it functions any better but it certainly looks better nothing runs on it yet so a train would come along here, have the option to split along any of these three, but what if the train is on this side, which is where they normally would be? They would come in on this side. So how would I do that? So if it came in on this side, it has access to these bits okay if it comes in on that side that is the one it has access to if it comes in on this side we're going to have traffic issues but it then has access to this section of the yard okay might need to figure something out with that uh, this bit Again, I opened that up for one and then opened it up again for another because of that split. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. This one can be cleaned quite significantly, actually. And nothing is running through this. Uh, yes, there is. Where would you go if I've just broken that? Okay, you go along that side. There we go. Sorted. That improves that quite significant. In fact, to give it more room, if I do this, it shall be even better. There we are. And 
and then run a track all the way along there. Apparently not connecting to anything. Well done. And that's one. Why are you two not connecting? There we are. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe just check, double check this one again. Just trying to ensure that I have... I'm trying to make the smoothest turns into this. And I know this is probably not all too possible. Uh, actually, it will be if I break that and move that back here. And then connect that back up. Oh, that is messy. That space is very messy. Can I connect that along there first and then in? Possibly? This has taken the entire episode. That, okay, that I need to do something about. That is the smoothness I wanted there. This is being destroyed for now until I can figure out what I'm doing. And there is a nice bit there. I suppose, again, using the three-way junctions, I can just do this. Oh, apparently it does not wish to do that. Why do you not want to do that? Up to that junction. Interesting. Why is that construction not possible? Okay, if I break that one and then connect you up like so. And subsequently say this goes out like that. Does that make that better? Slightly different layout. I'm still not keen on how that is functioning. One thing that would be nice though is this junction having a way to go right across. No? Not happy about that? All right. Not a problem. I was, I was hoping perhaps I can have something that goes from here. If there's a train on this line, swing its way over. But that's okay. I'm sure I can figure out another way of doing that. That does look better. And then with this one as well, I have six. Could I... Could I make this a much smoother approach? And the way I would do that is... I suppose this bit need not exist. So you would go across here and then into... One, two, three, or four, five, six. Would that work? It saves anything having to cross here and jamming up anything on its way out. It keeps, it does possibly work. The problem is, is that I spent a lot of time making sure that this is neat. But if it makes this bit neater, I doubt it's going to make this one neater. There's something fundamentally wrong about what I've done here. Why do I need that? What, what is the purpose of that particular one. 
anything that does oh right that is actually a well used one because it would go through here anything that's going out would go through here and then along this switch out and on the exits or coming in that is an inbound that inbound line will give me okay work perhaps needed on on that but overall that bit is done I'll quickly have a look at the rest of the map that took far too long um, anything here that needs to be a look freight train is is just about longer than the station I could push comes to shove do that but what would that achieve what does that achieve Come on, brain. Does that help me do anything? I do not think so. Maybe there is something. If there is something that you think that junction does, please let me know. Uh, I'm not... I'm really loath to mess with this junction. Yes, I'm not going to do that. can do something with this one though because I always had this only able to take the two do I need it to go in into a third one oh then I would need something to be able to get this over I would need something that allows me to push this out of the way in case of an express train But do I want the express trains to even have to stop? Possibly not. Probably not. A three-way switch will work here. Because I've had to do... You'll note that I have to go from two to three, or two to four track, and then four to six track. At this point, I should be able to, in theory. There you go. Go straight from two to six track. without having to worry okay what speed is that supposed to be 100 it goes down to 50 i see the 50 so maybe maybe i should do 50 will i be able to get the 50 no Okay, I actually cannot achieve 50 miles per hour here. In that case, that is not worth it. I would rather have it the way I currently do. Though, could I smooth this out somehow? I might be able to just push it just slightly further along and smooth that out. Okay. This bit is not a problem. Not a problem here with the really weird three track layout. Uh, nothing here. The next bit that could have any interest, anything interesting, will be this bit. But I think I have this laid out fairly well. could have that go across so at the moment that is how that works if I had this go out on either side too it would enable me to be able to use those platforms as well Hmm. 
so I can use the other platforms and there are no yeah, there's no crossing bits here okay I think that is a good idea so these are all 50 mile per hour tracks just double check to make sure this is 50 this is and do that to it oh but I could get a train stuck I'd have to put the signal further back in order to ensure the train doesn't get stuck. So that opens the track up in th three directions. That then is that middle section there too. See what that does to people going, ah, why have you done that? This is where the problems could arise. So that goes there. This bit, that needs to be demolished. And select the line I can see. That's one. Pass through this signal there we are okay that is back to its usual self and just in time as as one of those trains come along carrying a decent amount of passengers i'm not entirely sure about this one i'll be honest but it's what i can do I think this one is going to be useful. In the event of me having to use a different platform, I now have the ability to use different platforms. So for this green, the light green one, which is the Bracknell Merryport one, which actually is not going to Merryport anymore. Uh, it's Bracknell Sudbury. Sudbury? No, Sudbury. Uh, what? Oh, uh, there we go, Sudbury. This one is also not to Croydon, it's um, to Sudbury. There we go. Um, yes, so I could now use, make use of those two platforms if I needed to, although I cannot on this side. Of course I can. Because I now have the ability to do this. Oh dear. Please do not crash the game. Please do not crash the game. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. I uh, may not have the ability to do that because it doesn't appear to like it. No, I still... Maybe that was a trouble that... It appears I've had this trouble for some time. Right. What I can do, though, potentially... This one should be all right, right? No, apparently not. But that... There we go. Just improves that little bit. Um, if I need to do that, I'm not going to do that right now. But that seems like something I may want to try. Okay, this bit along here. Um, oh, again, it's the same. Autosave, that is telling me that it is almost time to end this episode. Every time an autosave comes up, means I've gone on for far too long. So I'll just wait for that to happen. Overall, I think the update has bought quite a... at least one important tool for me. The integrated mod browser, that's uh, neither here nor there. 
but certainly this three-way switch really good my top um my top feature the top feature that i think should be on transports fever 3 is going to be um proper traffic signals this could work yes this this could definitely work as long as i can get it to 50 which i can and the reason i say this is because i can actually then fit more trains into these areas and that is my primary primary reason for these see now i can actually have a third train sitting at a signal here if need be and similarly here instead of um oh no it's going to have to be there that is fine but instead of me having to do this and having this you can see it's quite messy i can finally clean it up and oh this is not going to work just realized what what i've done it is not going to work But I can make it work. Yes, I can make this work. Um, which bit is it in particular? It's this junction. That junction there, those points. So, let me connect, connect this up first. Like so. And then put... The 25 mile per hour points in. Like so. There we are. Done. Okay. And what that should allow me to do is have one train there. How, how long is this bit? How long is this section? Not very long. Okay, I'm still going to have the some issues but it does open up a little bit more yes it does open up a little more for me so that is good um potentially taking these so one two three could be done one two and three going across there could also now be done which i have had an issue with previously so being able to now do that for example is is quite good but i'm assuming i will not be able to have the opposite because of where this is positioned yes okay so i'm going to have to make a decision as to which one i want to be able to run Okay, so that is a that is a decision I'm going to have to make. And this bit is not a problem. No concerns along any of this. And continue on our way. Assume nothing has changed here. Nope, oh, nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing. But now I have the ability to run a third line and queue them up properly um, extra splits here that could go into three-way junctions the, the time is as I mentioned I, I am I have run out of time but I guess that does show that there are ways to to optimize to very much optimize this this railway system, this network.
nothing here. Oh, there, there is a junction further up. Croydon's busy. Uh, there are some points further up, aren't there? Under this tunnel, past Stratford, here. Anything here that can be improved? Um, no. No, so shockingly, I've, I've done this the way it really should be done. There is, there is nothing here that needs to be improved. Oh, I could, should I? Through here, back, over, that seems unnecessary. That does seem wholly unnecessary. Well, that is all working how I want it to work. And this is now double track. When when this was single track, perhaps a three-way point would have been handy. But at present, there is no need for it. And lastly, this bit. Can I improve this bit? Right. It is going to six track, so... The answer should be, yes, I can. But how? How and what would I do for the improvement? So I run this track directly, but then I need it to be able, I need them to be able to take any one of these lines in. So these lines are all going to be both ways. So I need to be able to do that. And I think the only... If I were to try and do three track splits here, it would just make that more complicated. So that would be one, one, two... Oh, sorry. One, two, three. This track goes into the middle. One, two, three. So that's the in and the out. Mind you, then again... All I then have to do is do a crossover here. So have, so it comes up along here, has the one crossing, the one crossover, and then the split. Um, sure, I think I can do that. However, however, this allows me to maintain speed. The crossover will not. So I'm going to leave this as it is. At least for now. And then this bit here is perfectly all right. Oh, maybe possibly doing something... Hmm... No, I think this is this is all right. This is pretty much as I would want it to be. And the rest of this is fine. Okay. Time for time for a quick thumbnail to show that I have done something in this episode. Even if it means that I've not actually built a new good station, um certainly optimizing and trying out the new three-way points which probably are best showcased oh this bit is messy but they are best showcased here so i'm going to see if i can show this off there we go that really does show so you see them used one two three four times right there in fact if I do this there we go okay that is going to be the thumbnail and I am now going to end this video so thank you very much for watching please remember to click on the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on transports fever 2 the UK modded series leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think any suggestions you might have. In the next video, I am going to return to building goods yards. 
um, over Carnforth and Bracknell is my next target. So if I can get those two towns done in in one episode, that would be ideal. Then I shall move on to uh, West Mersey, West Bromwich, Asselborough. That's the next set that I want to do. Then it will be Litchfield, New Romney, perhaps. Litchfield's going to be an interesting one. I'll move across the river and start doing things uh, around uh, Orford, Bentham, berwick upon tweed and move on from there. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below, as are links to my social media and Discord server. That is all from me. I know that this yard looks a little... perhaps quiet at the moment, but in the future, I think this is going to end up being quite a busy yard. At least that is the, the plan. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that in future episodes. Thank you again, and I shall see you next time.